Queen excluders. Do we use queen excluders? One of the advantages of the barn hive is we don't have to have a queen excluder. We can dispense with that piece of equipment um, because now with the barn hive we have all the same size frame. So the reason that people use queen excluders is to keep the queen from going up into your honey super and laying eggs up there. They don't want worms in their honey. Right? So when we go to extract that we don't have to deal with brood in it. Right? So now if we have a frame with brood in it, like the previous question, in the upper box, well we just simply take that same deep frame out and we change it, we put it down below. Right? And then we can take a frame from the bottom box, because it's the same size, and we can bring it up here and we can put it in the honey super. So we don't have to worry about where the queen is, whether the queen's laying eggs in a box that was intended for honey that we wanted to harvest for ourselves as surplus. Right? It makes um, more sense because a queen excluder is known as a honey excluder. It slows things down. The worker bees resist going through that uh, excluder. It congests the colony when we put an excluder in. So they're reluctant to, to go to work. Uh, it slows things down. Question is, where's the queen going to go in the hive? Um, we're going to let her go where she wants, but typically she will stay uh, in within her brood chamber. So it's up to us as beekeepers to make sure that she has enough room in her brood chamber so that she will stay there. The main reason the queen's going to go up into your honey super is because she ran out of room down in her brood chamber because the beekeeper wasn't paying attention, didn't get into that bottom box. Right, so some queens need more room. They'll they'll put brood in three deep boxes high if you let them. They've got the, if they have the uh, the uh, workforce to accommodate that large of a brood chamber, she'll move up into three boxes. So that can happen. So you need to be on the ball as a beekeeper and be prepared to address that if you have a really prolific queen that wants to expand beyond the two bottom boxes. And so you just need to keep an eye on them. Uh, if they are starting to put honey nectar that they've gathered in the queen's brood chamber, uh, then she's gonna go up looking for a place, place to lay eggs, right? So you make sure that she has plenty of space in that bottom box and typically she'll stay down there. Now well, sometimes she'll move up because they want that incubation temperature. It may be warmer up higher, not drafty down below, like in the case of a screen bottom uh, or a wide open entrance in the springtime uh, when it's cold at night. She'll, she'll move her brood chamber up because that's where the heat is. Right, so those are issues you, you need to be aware of as a beekeeper. Help that queen to, to uh, uh, manage her brood chamber. And if you do it correctly, she should stay down in that bottom box.